Hey guys, welcome back for another video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make this DIY bendy bridge from lollipop sticks. I thought this turned out rather well. It was a complete and utter trial and error. I did just record it while I was building it. The idea came to me while I was lying in bed and I thought why not, we'll give it a go, see how it turns out. If it doesn't turn out, then I can delete the video footage and if it does, then we've got another video. So yeah, let's get into making this. So, to make this, you're gonna need a glue gun, glue sticks, wire cutters, lollipop sticks, and wire. You're gonna wanna start by cutting two identical pieces of wire. One can be longer than the other. Just measure them up together after you've cut them and make sure that they're both the same length. Next, glue your wire to your first lollipop stick. Do this by placing a dot of glue on each end of the lollipop stick and sticking your wire to it. You will want to leave this dry fully before you move on to putting another lollipop stick in there as it does make the lollipop sticks move about the wire. So just let it dry fully before you add your next lollipop stick in. So the idea here is to make a full bridge as you've seen in the clips before. So all we're basically going to do is just keep adding lollipop sticks until we've filled the full length of the wire with lollipop sticks just as I'm doing here. I'm going to speed this bit up a bit so that it doesn't seem as long for you guys. So I just kept doing that until I reached the very end of the wires. It did take a long time, I think it took me about half an hour to complete this because you have to wait on the hot glue drying and because it's wired it does move about so the wires bent in some places so you've got to move the bendy bridge about to stick the uh, lollipop sticks to the wire and yeah it does take a bit of patience and a bit of foot in about but once it's done it's completely worth it, trust me. So. If you haven't, I would recommend going over the top of the wire with some more hot glue just to seal that wire in there because if you don't it could possibly pop out of place when you bend it. So we don't want that because then you lose lollipop sticks. So after it had dried I just took it and I flipped it over and I started adding an extra lollipop stick every second lollipop stick along. This is just to give the hamster some grip to hold on to while he's trying to climb over it. After everything has completely dried, take your bendy bridge and bend it. This will crack the hot glue, don't worry it isn't falling apart. It just cracks the hot glue and makes the hot glue a bit more flexible than it already is. Because hot glue dries in like a rubber sort of style, it's like latex really. When it dries it still remains flexible so this enables the lollipop sticks to bend. By bending this, this is just you cracking it, so you'll crack it off some lollipop sticks and it'll enable it to continue to bend. It should stay intact. And that's it. You're done really. So I'm going to show you some cute hamster footage of Smokey interacting with this bendy bridge. I do hope you enjoy it. I do want to just say that this probably wouldn't be suitable for hamsters that are big chewers as and taking a lot of hot glue isn't actually great for them. You could, if you wanted to really build this for your chewer hamster, you could double line it with lolly sticks, so by that I mean build another set of lollipop sticks underneath to encase the hot glue inside the bridge itself. 
that's an idea. But for me, luckily enough for me, all my animals are quite okay with chewing. Well guys, that's all I have for you today. And if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. And to really help this channel out, you could hit that subscribe button down there as well to see more videos. See you after.